Hello to one and all present here. My name is Srijani Bhaduri and today we have with us a very special guest. Today we have with us Mr. Kuruvila Kurian, who is the executive director at Aristo. He has three decades of experience in engineering and finance. He is a seasoned leader and has led his company to a lot of growth and progress in the interior design market. It's a pleasure to have you with us today, sir. Hi, good afternoon, Srijini, and I'm happy to be here with you today. Thank you. So, um, so my question for you today to begin would be how to balance maintaining product authenticity with the need for modernization? Because we know that now there is a lot of different uh, tastes of products going on. And of course, there is also a lot of technological trends also going on. So this is a topic which I'm very curious about. Yeah, it's actually, um, you know, it's, it's funny that you're bringing both the expressions authenticity and modernization together. But in my view, actually, there's no dichotomy between the two. Now, ours is quite a high technology product. Uh, we spend a lot of time and um, effort on, you know, not only product design and innovation, but also in terms of materials and manufacturing. So to me, you know, both of them very much go together because um, it's a very technical product. Uh, there's a lot of precision uh, involved and there's a lot of work across the whole chain, right, from uh, design to materials to manufacturing to installation and the whole customer experience. And if you ask me, you know, uh, if you get that done right, you know, that automatically brings the authenticity to the product. Yeah, that was really informative and that totally changed my perspective. So my next question for today, for today would be, how to incorporate customer feedback into the product development process? Yeah, this is actually uh, something that's actually quite difficult to do. You know, when we were a smaller company, you know, the leaders of the company, uh, we would actually work across the entire chain. So we would actually, you know, sit with customers, we would go to the sites, we would be part of the measurement and the kickoff. And um, so, and, you know, again on the delivery installation and so on so we had a really good view of the whole end-to-end -end process as you grow as a company and um, it becomes more and more difficult because there are more people there are more layers there are more um, different kind of uh, functions uh, and each piece each person sees only their small bit of the whole puzzle and um, so what we've done at, uh, at aristo is that we've actually mandated that all the senior management team actually spend a few days every quarter at what we call the edge of the company. And the edge of the company is where, um, you know, we actually interact with customers, we interact with the sites, we interact with, say, vendors, and, you know, all the people that are, who are external to our company. So when they spend these, you know, two days with the uh, at the edge of the company, they gather a lot of insights, you know, they learn new things, they, you know, have different uh, perspectives that, you um, which would otherwise not come because, you know, they're sitting in their cubicles and they, you know, they do their own thing every day. And so when they get out into the field, they get a lot of insight and, um, and then they come back and we, we have a presentation sessions where all the um, senior uh, leaders actually talk about what they did. And, um, you know, so sometimes we get like immediate things that we have to do, but sometimes, you know, it comes later on, you know, so they, you know, maybe later on when they take decisions, they have an insight of what actually happens um, at the periphery. So they uh, take take much better decisions. So yeah, it's very important to be close to that edge where, where the customer is. Yeah, that was actually a really good idea. Like, And that was actually a very a valid point that most of the people normally sit in their cubicles and don't know what is actually going on. So... Right. Um, my question, my next question would be, what strategies to employ to stay ahead of market trends and competitions? Because it's a very, what it's a very, very competitive field, the field of interior design. And there are new companies springing up almost every day. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, it is difficult to stay abreast of things, you know, because it's an industry that moves very rapidly. Um, designers you know, keep coming on the scene. 
in with new concepts and designs. So, so we actually have. Uh, And they actually both in India and, um, and they kind of always keep abreast of what is happening. And then based on that, they actually work on new product design. So it's very important to have a really, you know, separate and, uh, focused approach to a new product design. Yeah, that was actually a very new perspective because I thought we had to like keep on working and it it's very important that we keep our focus on one thing and that was really informative. So my last right. question for today would be, what advice would you give to aspiring leaders in the corporate world like me? Yeah, I hope you're talking about uh, young aspiring leaders like you, uh, Srijani. So... Uh, you know, for me, leadership um, is not is not just about title and position. Uh, leadership is, is anybody who is able to add value to the world around them. I consider them a leader. You know, it, it doesn't matter what level or what position that you're at. And um, I think one of the most critical things for an aspiring leader is, number one, to be proactive. You know, just don't sit back and wait for people to tell you what to do. You know, you need to find, go out, find problems, you know, understand what they are, come up with innovative solutions and uh, be proactive. And of course, you know, be willing to make mistakes and fail. Okay. So try different things. You know, some things work, some things don't work. Don't worry about it. Just keep trying new things and keep your eyes and ears open. You know, feedback can, somehow, can sometimes be difficult and harsh and unpleasant, but you know, that's part of life, you know, just uh, keep your head up and keep moving forward. Thank you so much, sir. That was a very, very um, motivating piece of information. So thank you so much for joining us today. It was really, really good having you with us. And it was actually very informative. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. And it was good spending time with you today. All the best. Thank you.